Okay, shall we get started? Let's get started and bring in the sunshine. That's what I say. Okay, so I'm going to start with the oval stitched nesting die. And I'm going to pick out the largest and the medium one with the dots, not the one with the dashes. We're going to use the ones with the dots. Okay, I'll put the others to one side. And I'm going to cut them, well, the, the smaller one, from a textured cream cardstock. So I like that bit. I like to have a bit of texture because we're going to cut some petals. Sunflower petals. Yay! Let's bring in my die cutting machine. And what we're going to do is, once we've cut... Um, two if you cut two with the the smaller one and then with the larger one we're going to dissect these two okay and we're just going to slice them more or less in half but not perhaps just a bit less than half take those down to secure them I always think this looks like Mickey Mickey Mouse ears or or that, um, is it Potato Head in Toy Story? I think that's what that looks like. <laughs> anyway, so we'll run those through. And cut our segments out. And then we get two bananas, like that. And then what we need to do is to Take these nice bits off and then we want two more bits like that so we're going to dissect the other half let's turn that around it doesn't have to be accurate you can have them slightly bigger that's better actually if you have them sort of make some slightly very slightly wider ones don't need to measure okay so let's run that through chuck these funny bits away don't need them and then we've got four four nice petals from our ovals because we want them long and thin don't we hi max hi oh thanks for joining me Honora, brilliant kathy great so we've got some petals so if i bring in my craft sheet because I'm going to get inking. That's it. Bring in my craft sheet and some wild honey. Wild honey distress ink. And we're going to ink these a little to make them look more like sunflower petals. Just grip them at one end and just flick up the ink. That's it. You can give it a bit of a rub if you want to make it ink smoother before you apply it to the paper but it's all rustic it's not necessary that's it bring in the sunshine oh we've had a lot of sunshine my gosh it's been so warm here over 30 degrees during the day we've had a few hot days haven't we us in the uk hi jackie jasper you've been hot you're, you're further down south than i am i'm in the middle Oh, it's been warm it's a bit cloudier now so i'm not sat here in my bikini top it's cooled down a little bit okay hi Els. there's another Els, Ginny. hi Ginny. so it's therapeutic you need quite a few petals cut quite a few out I'm just doing these four to show you. That's it. Draw up the colour. Doesn't matter if you don't get colour at the tips. Because this shows you which way round they are. So this is the base and then this will be the tip. So leave some of that cream, cream cardstock showing at the tip. And then I'm just going to flick them with a bit of spiced marmalade 
just to get them a bit more depth. Oh, someone's from Hawaii. They're in the sunshine. Alua. Is that how you say your name? Wow. Okay. We're under a heat advisory in Texas. 105 degrees. Wow. I do like it though. I do like a bit of heat. I do like the summer. <laughs> okay. So that gives them a bit of depth and colour. And then all we need to do then, I'll just move this out of the way, is score them, score them down the middle. Just roughly, that's it. What you'll notice is, because we've cut one edge from the smaller oval, and the other edge, we cut into that with this larger oval, then you'll get the two sides, they're not accurate. And this is, this is what I like because nothing's sort of perfect in nature, is it? So I quite like the fact that this is a bit more curved than that side. So this is a slightly sm more smaller one. So score these down the middle and then we can shape them. That's it. And we're going to shape them in our hands. So just fold them in half along your score line. So you crease them in half. You're all discussing about the weather. <laughs> That's it. And just tease them open and crease them at the, at the fold. That's it. And then you create a nice petal shape. I suppose you could do this with other kind of flowers. A dahlia perhaps, something like that. Similar sort of shape petals. But you get in a rhythm. I find it easier to do all the same thing. So cut them all, ink them all, score them all, fold them all. You get a production line going. All right. Oh, Suzanne likes the heat, but she likes the fall as well. Suzanne, do you call it fall in the Netherlands rather than autumn? Because in America it's fall, isn't it? Hi, Ilse. Hi. <laughs> okay. So we've got those there. And we need to then create a middle section for our sunflower, which we will do with these, this, the stitched circle dies. So I've taken, again, with the dotted ones, I've taken the smallest one and the next size up. So we've got those. Uh, can you see what I've done with the petal? Let me get a closer look. So cut those two circles from craft card. That's it, because we want to make it look rustic. Can you see that? Am I holding it still enough? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, so cut those two out of craft card. And then I'll bring my craft sheet back in. In. So I've got those petals and I've got I've got loads more as well. They're nice. Let's bring in the summer. Okay, so these two, we're going to ink these with some browns. So I've got the famous lovely vintage photo. I do like this one. And do the yeah, the larger one in vintage photo. So give that an inking just to darken it because the middle of the middle of sunflowers can be quite dark aren't they but they're all different aren't they so it doesn't matter how yours comes out if you have a go at this it doesn't matter what color inks you've got you don't have to have these exact colors because they are they're all different some are quite yellow in the middle aren't they and then rusty hinge i have for the smaller one just because i want to create two different colours because sometimes again I've seen sunflowers where the middle section is a little bit lighter so we're just going to go in there with some rusty hinge I love how it looks already oh thanks Suzanne Victoria loves sunflowers yeah 
everyone does, don't they? Okay, so we got that far, and then I just want to create a bit more texture within the middle section. So I've pulled this out, the reinforcement die, the sort of cog looking one. I think this got, can create some lovely texture. It could be a bit awkward to produce loads of these and dig them out. So you can obviously use a, a more sort of simpler reinforcement as well. So I want that to match. So let's colour this craft card with a bit of rusty hinge as well. Just slap it on. No need to be fussy or super smooth. And then the other one will put a bit of vintage photo on this, this one. And then we can get cutting some reinforcers. Okay, so I'll bring the machine back. Shame we haven't got more than one of these. So then I could um I could really be churning them out, but I shouldn't be too greedy because you do get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that? Yeah, you do get seven of them anyway, so I'm being too greedy. So run them through a few times as well. Don't need that bit. And then what I tend to do is I get my uh, sharp scalpel and kind of just dig them out and they pop out like this. With my scalpel or a craft knife you could use. And then just poke out the middles and then you're good to go to run it through again. I don't tend to worry about the little the little tiny holes they kind of fall out anyway so I've got me reinforcers let's get rid of my craft sheet again and I'll bring in a piece of paper that's it because I want to get glue on my mat okay so um, maybe we'll start off with the darker one with the vintage photo reinforcers I'll bring you some glue I do like a glue stick and then what I do is I kind of bend them in half just slightly just within your fingers and then tap that on the top of the glue just to glue half and then position it on the side like that and then basically put some good music on and go all the way round listen to some music and just apply these all the way round, bend each one and overlap them, a bit like sort of dominoes and that sort of creates that interesting fussy middle bit where all the seeds develop. I'm not very good at looking at the comments am I? I do apologise. <laughs> okay like this and then you'll end up with a circle like that with them all on there okay and then do the similar thing with the middle the middle one I think I've got some yeah I've got some rusty hinge ones here and then again feed these round the outside apply these round the outside and I have done another one. This is another one I prepared earlier. I haven't quite finished. And then all you do is, they do fit more or less exactly, filling in the centre. So you just work in another inner circle. You don't actually put one in the centre. It just fills up the centre as you work in another inner circle. Oh, thank you, Victoria. She said that's terrific. Thank you. You have to have a go at making this. <laughs> okay. I, I, I kind of enjoy making things out of other things, if that makes sense. You know, if you really want to create something, just look at what you've got and work with it. I 
kind of get a bit enjoyment out of doing that. Okay, so I've filled in my middle section now. And then that sits in there beautifully. Yeah, it's like they're made for each other. Brilliant. What I tend to do as well is I'll just grab the corresponding ink and I'll just brush over it just to see if I can get a bit more darker colour right on the tips of those cogs. And then the same with Vintage Photo. Just give it a brush. Just picks up the, the bit sticking up. Adds a bit more depth. Okay, and then we can do our constructing and put the sunflower together. Just lose these bits. Okay, so it's to save time, I, I would normally, okay, um, add these petals to straight onto this section, and I would find the slightly bigger one. So there's a slightly bigger one, and this one, and this one, and what I would do is I'd I just put them in like a clock face, really. If I get some of this glue. So I'll put one at 12. Just apply. No, I don't want to apply glue at the back. Apply the glue at the front, at the tip end, the sort of beginning end. Okay, and just press that down. And the point kind of just reaches the middle, but not quite. Not sure if you have the patience to cut out all them reinforcements. Oh, it's not too bad. Honestly, it's not too bad. You can use this, you know, a simpler one if you like. It's therapeutic. That's it. And then this one can go at six o'clock. So they meet. That's it. And just pinch it so you still get that interest in the petals and then the glue will hold the petal in that shape and then you do the same for three and nine that's it turn it over then i can see what i'm doing that's it just hold that in place i don't know i think it, Sometimes if you give something time, I think it looks it looks better, I think. Okay, you know, it, it could be a lot of time maybe to then give give something away. It, you know, this is this perhaps would be a, a special occasion card perhaps. That's it. Or don't make it into a card. Put a stem on it and keep it for yourself. <laughs> Oh, thanks for sharing, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, and then get similar larger ones. And let me, where's the one that I've done? This one, this is the one I started. Okay, and then you add in the one, just one in between. So this one's quite big. And then add that in between. That's it. A second so that you cover it once all the way round. Hi Jonah, <laughs> a bit late to the party. No, you're not really. You're right, you can always look back. You can always look, but I'm still constructing the sunflower. And then add this one in that gap there. And then you just add the smaller ones interspersing the gaps in between there. So that would go there. And it doesn't have to reach the middle because they're slightly smaller. They can be sitting further out. Like that. I've got a bit of glue on the front. I don't want glue on the front. It. So build it up, and then this one would go in here. OK, 
okay. <laughs> it makes me happy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, sunflowers are so cheerful. Certainly is happy summer crafting. And then if you want to, let's just put in a couple more in here. I like the sunflower emojis. <laughs> nice one. That's it. Let's put a couple more in here and then we complete that layer. And then what I was going to say is you can add some others as well. In between that if you wish if you have some petals spare or it can look fine like this so let's hide that bit there so let's say I'll grab this one and if I've got a bigger gap say there I could even add another one in there glue so you can build it up as much as you like wonderful thanks Katrina Joanne's share thank you Joanne and maybe in just another one in there maybe something children can have a go at perhaps or they can help you build a sunflower all right I am wanting to put a back to this because this is an easel card we will be seeing some of the back of it so I've cut a bigger circle out of the the dashed circle dies let me have a look for that here it is so there's our original one so it's just a little bit bigger and I quite like to glue that down there as a as a back and it hides all the workings so I'm just adding some glue to the ridges of my petals so it goes a little further up place that on that's it I do like to hide my workings there <laughs> Yes, it would brighten up anyone's day. It certainly would. It looks quite nice from this side, doesn't it? The back. <laughs> there. And then I'm going to... Oh, I stuck, I stuck these petals on the one I'm going to use. You know, I'm, well, I'm just going to take these off. Because this is my finished middle that I want to use. So I'll take those petals off, apply some glue to my middle. As I said, I would normally attach the petals straight onto the middle. So place that down, give that a bit of pressure. Okay. And some foam pads. I'm just going to grab some foam pads. I've got some little dots. They'll do. Some little dots. Because I want to raise this middle section slightly. I think it makes it look a bit more interesting. So I'm just going to apply a few foam pads to the very middle. That's it. that pick off the backing paper that's it and then you can place that in the middle that's it there lovely and then I can tease them up if they flatten too much lift them up right then so once we've done that that's our sunflower more or less finished we can construct the easel card, which is basically a couple of five by seven craft card blanks. Um, I'm not 
making an easel from one card because if you just bend the top piece over the sunflower is so big it's not going to sit properly on the front so I'm actually using a whole card to place the sunflower on so we need two cards to make this one card so if that's the stand standy up bit I'm going to sort of place that into there but my craft card is slightly different colour brown on the inside to the outside so I'm going to turn one of them inside out and recrease because I want the same coloured same coloured brown card on there okay so then on back of one of them apply your glue that's it that's it and then place pick that up press that down so this is now the inside of one of the cards and then as we open it out we've got the, the nice brown on the outside there okay and then all we do is we get our sunflower and we just apply the glue to half of that decide which way up you want it to go get out there that's it and this base as well at the back gives you a nice flat surface to apply your glue to put on your card so make sure yeah I might no I'm not going to put it off yeah I'll have these two coming out to the side make sure it doesn't protrude further than than there that's what it looks like on the back that's it okay so then that sits sits up like that and now we need our caption on the bottom there, which I'm going to make from the banner, from the banner die. And I've taken the middle one. The middle one's a good size, so I've taken that one. Okay, and I've cut that from craft card as well. I've got that over here. That's it. So I've got that from craft card. And then what I want to do is cut it again and I'm just going to place the die the other way round so I can get a nice fishtail banner okay if I do that and show you that's it so if you place it back in the other way round and then I'm just going to tweak it slightly in and pull it back out again just so it cuts cuts the end and not the whole the whole banner so now I've got my nice fishtail banner, both ends. And then I've also cut um, another one by hand to fit in a nice green textured card. And then we can apply our caption. Okay, so I'm going to use, have the best day today one, because this one works really well in the banners. it my way up so I haven't got an acrylic block to put it on let me find one so I put it on a, an angle <laughs> what am I doing I've got it upside down that's it so apply your embossing ink that's it reverse a mark that's it so and place it I'll cut the banner first and then I'm going to place the caption on top. Okay, give it a wiggle, make sure it's all covered. And then if I get another piece of paper, so I can sprinkle sprinkle my powder on. That's it. Copper, a nice copper colour I've gone for. Heat set that. I switch it on that might help so I warm my gun up if you have any bits grab a brush if you have any bits that are astray just flick them off with a brush actually I've missed missed the top of me H 
there, flick them off with a brush, give it a good tap. Okay. So we set that. I do like the copper as well, it's got that nice brown tinge to it, which is nice. How are we doing? Are you still there with me? Hi Beatrix, hi Pauline, hi Rodney. Royetta, Royette, that's a nice name. Love the copy, love the copper, Jackie Jasper does. Yeah. Too busy looking at the comments and not concentrating on where my gun's going. Heat. That'll do. That'll do. And then place this onto there. And then I like to put this, well, it, yes, this does have to go on foam pads. Oh, it's nice and warm because it's acting as our stopper. So that does have to go on foam pads. So I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll take I'll take the bit off the side because that's and I can get a nice long piece then. That's it. And I won't have to bother with all the little dots. That's it. So this is a stopper and it keeps the card open. it about there I think yeah maybe a bit further forward so we see a bit less of the brown out there and then that acts as a stopper for the easel part so there that's more or less finished now there our sunny sunflower card so don't for, don't forget that you can get your discount with the code SUE25. I wish I was 25 again. <laughs> Up until the 18th of August, that offer runs on till. So that's good. I tell you what, when I was um, getting ready for the, the live, I kind of thought, well, yeah, we, we do give, we would give this away. And I, I liked it so much that I thought, well, I'd quite like to craft one for myself so what I did do I decided to have um, make a planner page for myself because I grow we grow sunflowers in the garden and my husband's got loads in the allotment as well so I cut a page out of craft card and this nice page with the photos so I've inserted some photos of the sunflowers that are down the allotment and in the garden and I just thought I'm just going to make a sunflower page and then what I thought is quite big to to sort of use I thought well, why not just make half a one just make half a one and then I kind of like to place it there Is it gonna go? so pretend that's my page in there like half a one coming over here and then I've got that that side that was the idea. I'm tempted to do that. I know it's a little bit thick for my planner, but it'd be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah, I might do that. So that might be appearing on social media soon. <laughs> okay, sunflowers we go. Right, so I've been about, what's that, 40 minutes almost? So I'm, I suppose I better wrap it up now. So thank you very much for watching. Um, it's nice to see you all here, Maureen, Jackie, Debbie, thanks for joining me and have a go, we are got making a nice cheerful sunflower. Okay, thank you very much, see you soon, bye.